एग्जाम्पल सेवन पॉइंट एट अ मेटल बार सेवेंटी सेंटीमीटर लॉन्ग एंड फोर किलोग्राम इन मास सपोर्टेड ऑन टू नाइफ एज इज प्लेस्ड टेन सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम ईच एंड a 6 kg weight is suspended at 30 cm from one end find the reactions of the knife edges assume the bar to be of uniform cross section and homogeneous clear okay now see here first of all understand the situation given to you metal bar that is with length 70 cm so this is the metal bar end to end 70 cm mass of the bar that is 4 kg so when this bar is with uniform cross section and homogeneous means its center of mass will be at midpoint where entire mass will be concentrated so we can represent the weight of the bar itself w at this point g this is w then after it is given to you it is supported on two knife edges placed 10 cm from each end so from this end the knife edge placed at 10 cm that is k1 and from other end another knife edge placed at 10 cm that is k2 and this rod is supported on these two knife edges then 6 kg weight is suspended at 30 cm from one end suppose we consider this left end of the bar and from there at 30 cm at this point p 6 kg mass is suspended so its weight w1 is represented here now with respect to this midpoint this mass suspended that will be at 5 cm because from midpoint end is at 35 cm now we want to find the reactions at the knife edges suppose at knife edge k1 the reaction is r1 and at knife edge k2 the reaction is r2 and as per question we have to calculate this r1 and r2 now clear the question and figure now entire system that is in mechanical equilibrium it implies that translational equilibrium as well as rotational equilibrium so first we consider translational equilibrium now for translational equilibrium net force will be zero so see here the forces r1 and r2 are vertically upward w1 and w are vertically downward so we can write the equation net force r1 plus r2 minus w minus w1 but that is equal to zero because this is in translational equilibrium now w1 that is the weight of that mass suspended mg mass suspended 6 kg into g so 6 into 9.8 okay so and it will come to 58.8 newton then w that is the weight of the bar itself so bar that is with mass 4 kg so 4 into g so 4 into 9.8 and it will come to 39.2 newton then after for rotational equilibrium net torque will be zero so see here the torques so torque that is a force into perpendicular distance from the reference point reference point that is center of mass so first we consider this force r1 so force r1 into perpendicular distance from g that is gk1 so r1 into gk1 but here 
the torque produced by R1 will give the rotation in clockwise direction. So the torque which produces clockwise rotation that we have to consider negative. So minus R1 into GK1 plus another torque that is due to this force W1. So W1 into perpendicular distance GP. And this will give the rotation in clockwise, sorry, anti-clockwise. So anti-clockwise rotation, that torque we have to take positive. So plus W1 into GP, then R2. So force R2 into perpendicular distance GK2, that will give you again anti-clockwise rotation. So that torque we have to take positive. So plus R2 into GK2. This W will not be able to produce any torque because it is at the G itself. So perpendicular distance with respect to G that will be zero. So this will not give you any torque. Now here the net torque that is equal to zero. Now if we substitute all the values G K1 that will be 25 centimeter. So 25 into 10 raised to minus two. GP that is five centimeter. So five into 10 raised to minus two. Then GK2 again 25 centimeters, so 25 into 10 raised to minus 2. If we take 5 into 10 raised to minus 2 common, then it will be cancelled from both the side and we can say minus 5 R1 plus now 5 R2 plus W one. So W1 that is this one and here we have to multiply this one by one only because five is taken common from this one. Now keep this equation as it is. Second equation, this one, R1 plus R2 minus W minus W1. So here if we substitute the value of W, that is 39.2 and W1, 58.8. Then we will get this equation. Take this 39.2 and 58.8 on right hand side. Then we will get R1 plus R2, that is 39.2 plus 58.8. It will come to 98. Now we have two equations. One that is minus 5R1 plus 58.8 plus 5R2 that is equal to 0. Another equation that is R1 plus R2 that is equal to 98. And now with the help of elimination method, you have to find R1 and R2. Clear to all of you?